My name is Brad Gillespie. I am a dentist and I, uh, I'm a smile giver, right? I look to change, change lives. No, I'm, I'm a dentist, I'm a general dentist, but I love what I do. <laughs> yes, I'm a part of a uh, general dental practice and I'm fortunate enough to work with my brother and my cousin and we've been able to carry on the legacy that our dad and uncle started uh, over well, about actually this year 40 years ago and uh, they've since retired and we've been able to continue on and it's uh, it's awesome we love working together what made me want to be a dentist um you know it's interesting actually i've discovered that over time at first my father's a dentist and so i had interest in it anyway and always the the discussion early on when I was in college, undergrad, was do you like to work with your hands? You know, are you artistic? Are you detail oriented? And uh, I definitely was that to a degree. Um, but really what I've discovered is uh, I enjoy my relationships with other people. And that's really what brings me joy. I mean, I honestly uh, love going to work each day. And I know that's not what a lot of people can say about their profession or their job. And I'm so grateful that that's the way I feel about what I do. And I realized that, yeah, the procedures are interesting and what I get to do, but mostly uh, the, re the real reward is the relationship that uh, I've been able to form with the patients that I see. And that's uh, really um, what brings me uh, joy and uh, satisfaction in, in what goes on. I mean, it, it's, it, whenever some, if ever when someone has a bad outcome, I'm feeling, I'm like, I'm totally beside myself because uh, I don't want that to be the case for anybody. Uh, the annual free dental day that we do, I'm happy to tell you about that. We've been doing it for, I think we're coming up on, well, because of COVID, we've had to take a pause for two years, but uh, I think this will be our 10th um, annual dental free dental day. And we uh, set up a, a Saturday and everyone, all of our team members, and we, we invite other dentists in the area. We try to get as many providers and uh, assistants and helpers as possible, but we open it up to the public. and. Uh, do as many procedures as we can. Um, uh, why, do, why did I want to be part of the Halo Network? Um, I think what was appealing to it was would be to be able to take someone from a, their big needs and finish those. Uh, we've been fortunate enough to be a part of the Free Dental Day every year, and that's a very rewarding and a neat um, experience, but it's very limited because a lot of times you're just addressing the uh, you know, the worst problem, but you can see there's lots of other problems and there's just not enough time to be able to do it. And with the Halo Network, they've taken out, you know, a lot of the barriers to doing these bigger cases where uh, Bio Horizons will donate the implants. And so for us, that was real appealing that we could see someone that had, you know, they, they need a full mouth rework of their, of their team. They need everything replaced with implants. And now this gave us an opportunity to be able to do that. And it was just um, very exciting to be able to make a difference, uh, a real difference lifetime, you know, change someone's life uh, in this kind of situation as opposed to just doing service, but not impacting them that would, would change their circumstances, change their life. Having completed a, a Halo case, I'd say it was um, all that we expected and more, more in the sense of difficulty level. We, we tackled a very difficult case. It was a full mouth reconstruction. It was full extractions, full implants, upper and lower, uh, traveling the distance with a sinus lift. I mean, it was it was as com about as complex as um, I would imagine a case would get. And so that it it was more difficult than, I mean, we knew it would be difficult, but more challenging than what we anticipated, but we were able to, uh, I was fortunate enough to work with my brother and we did it together. And that was helpful that we could kind of work through things and talk it out and figure out how we were going to do it. And the patient was uh, super grateful and she was very understanding. It took us a long time, it was over a year. But um, afterwards, just to see that change, it was, well, it was worth every part of it. And it was just even more rewarding than than we anticipated. So, um, yeah, I mean, that experience was awesome and I'm excited for the next one.